Okay, this is the introduction for lab number 16. We'll be taking a look at um, why is the sky blue. And this one you actually need a little bit of material here, but you're pretty sure that most people probably have some type of clear glass, flashlight, or cell phone that you can use like a flashlight. Um, a little bit of milk, not a whole awful lot, like a couple of drops. And maybe a blank white card or a piece of note paper or something like that. And all I want you to think about is, is, you know, if you think about it, the sun's going to put off all the colors of the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, where these essentially are going to be the short wavelength, and these are going to be the long wavelengths. Bear in mind, we are going to have infrared up here, and we are going to have UV up here, which is even shorter and longer, but we can't actually see these. So these are the visible portion of the spectrum. So why is the sky blue here? And then I have you answer the question, uh, what rarely scattering really does is it says that the short wavelengths are going to scatter more. And this is essentially why the sky is blue. So how come the sky is not violet? And I'll leave you to ponder that. Uh, why does the sun look reddish, reddish orange, especially when there's like smoke? So when we have a case like this, and why are clouds white? Then all I have you do is, is um, fill the glass with, with some water and put the flashlight on one side and add a teeny tiny bit of milk. Now it does say skim milk, but pretty much any milk works, but I'm talking just a couple of drops of milk. I mean, don't dump a whole lot of milk in there because then the light won't make it through and the flashlight acts like the sun, the milk acts like a scatterer. And then I have you just go ahead and look at this and what happens when you look directly into it, what happens when you look from the side. And if you get the mixture just right, maybe you're going to see some other colors.